Hello everybody and welcome to another time lapse drawing. Uh, this one, I called it Abstract Geometry because um, I used a compass to do these first bits. Um, so it's all very geometrical and I didn't have a plan whatsoever. I just literally put pen to paper and see what happens. Um, I've done this drawing for my dad for his birthday. Um, and yeah, it's all dot work as usual. Um, literally, I drew a load of circles um, in different sort of geometric patterns, sort of some circles coming out from the middle of each other, some are circles in the points of different shapes, so like I've done a hexagon with, you know, like yeah, six circles around it <coughs> from the different points. Uh, then I've just began to colour. I've also uh, used this drawing as kind of an experiment like a playing about with different colours to see what sort of shades and effects I can get using different colours together in dot work. So um, as you can see there I've done the greens and I've faded down from dark greens at the ends to the light greens in the middle and the same with the pinks. Now, as this drawing has evolved, and um, as I've progressed further with it, I start seeing sort of like, you know, familiar patterns. So, um, I've obviously tried to make it quite symmetrical. And uh, I've decided to sort of start thinking along the lines of it being as a flower of some sort, but quite an abstract sort of idea of a flower. So, in the end, I went for a... Um, for like a water lily, like a big pink water lily sort of thing. With its green leaves and the pink petals and the, that middle bit with the stamen and the stigma. And at the bottom you'll see later on, I do sort of like a splash of water, I guess. All in this geometric style. Now when I'm mixing these colours, as you can see there I had the little selection of pinks and reds. I use not just pinks and reds but like browns and things like that as well that will um that will enhance like the other colours in, in the selection that I've used to get that gradual fade from being like a dark pink to a lighter pink. And same with the blues, I think I've got about five or six different blues. I'm going right from the end using a bit of grey as well. I thought I'd put a bit of music on as well for this one. As soon as last, usually it's just me chatting a little crap for the whole time, so it's time you get a bit of music as well. For in my moments of silence, you can listen to some nice music. That first one was the um, the Angry Birds song. <laughs> it's a uh, version by the London Philharmonic Orchestra. I like all this classical stuff. And this one's from the... Um, one of the songs from the series on the BBC, the um, South Pacific series. One of the songs from that programme that was on. But anyway, yeah, as you can see now, um, I'm starting to do that splash. And um, I wanted to see how far I could push the like the this fading effect. So I've gone from it being real dark in the middle, coming in with these geometric shapes, and then on in the very middle, I wanted to see if I could try and change the colour, see if I could blend it that far that the colour would actually change from being blue uh, to green. So as I came further into the middle, I got my, my blues got lighter and lighter, and I have this real minty kind of turquoisey green, I guess. And I use that one to, to use the final blend between blue and green. So on one side of it, I used a lot of blues, on the other side I used a lot of green.
Now these bits took the longest because you've got to try and get it even the whole way around. But I think it came out quite well in the end. But you can see now how it's kind of how you can get that idea of, you know, a water lily from it with the pink petals and the green green leaves and a nice splash of blue water and then this top bit here is just to finish it all off into a nice big circle and then round the side just a nice big faded circle just to cap it all off so I wasn't entirely sure ha I wasn't fully happy with it just being you know this weird sort of shape I wanted to have it finished off and because it's in a square piece of paper I thought it'd be best to you know finish off with a nice big circle so it's all even around the ends and I just faded in from from a black pretty much black anyway, it's kind of brown, brownish grey, but pretty much black, and then faded it all inwards, a bit like the middle bit with the stamen and stuff, with the browns and the oranges and the yellows, just coming in, fading in nice and slow, and that's the finished product, so I hope you liked it guys, thank you very much for watching, goodbye.